It's Kyle and Kurt Busch on the front row for Saturday night's NASCAR Texas NRA 500. And speeds are fast, 196 miles an hour. Kyle, new track record. And that's more than six miles an hour quicker than what they were here last year. Too fast? I don't know. These new cars are stable. We thought they might have brake problems, might have tire problems. Their teams are being real careful with the tires, of course, but the cars seem very stable. With the new rear spoilers, and the new rear end camber. Kurt Busch says he's not worried at all. Even though there's some bumps down in the corners, the track's fairly well worn, and that means the tires are going to fall off. They'll fall off a full second over 20 laps. That's 30 miles, which means that some teams are going to be short, but in getting fresh tires before they run out of gas, and that's going to change up the strategy. A lot of guys that we expected to be up front, like Matt Kenseth and Greg Biffle, in qualifying Friday night here at Texas Motor Speedway, didn't get up front. So they'll have to come from deep in the field. Now in 2010, Denny Hamlin won both races here, starting deep in the field. The last two years, you really have to be in the top four, top five, top six, to have a shot at it. Maybe gas mileage, maybe strategy, might be a lot of things that play into it other than pure speed, but there's a lot of pure speed here at Texas Motor Speedway for the NRA 500. And the NRA, they're overshadowing the race. Controversy, the NRA sponsored a race at Atlanta Motor Speedway last Labor Day. Not too much said about that, but timing is everything, and the timing for this one appears to be wrong, at least the eyes of some people at Daytona, who are now a little worried about all the flack they're getting in some quarters. A U.S. Senator said you should turn off your TV and not watch the race. He wanted Rupert Murdoch, the guy that owns Fox, not to broadcast the race. I'm thinking this thing's getting a little bit out of hand. This is just a race. We're not that serious about racing, are we, in America? Well, maybe some of the guys here in Texas are. In Texas, everything's serious. The Texas 500, the Texas NRA 500, they shoot off guns here all the time. Used to get a rifle for winning the pole, didn't see that tonight. Don't know what happened. Used to get a brace of six shooters. If you won the race, shoot them off. Not sure if that's going to happen either. We'll have to see what happens Saturday night, 6.30 p.m. Central Time, 7.30 East Coast Time, and the NRA 500 at Texas Motor Speedway should be pretty interesting. Remember Jimmy Johnson and Brad Keselowski last fall? Kyle Busch was ready to take the win. If those two guys had gotten a little too feisty, and they were pretty feisty going into the first turn here in those bumps. Add six miles an hour to that stuff, and, well, I don't know. I'm sort of like in Matt Kenseth. He's got the best record here over his career. Knows how to conserve tires, and this should be a tire conservation race. He's a smart driver, and he's doing pretty well with his new team. Tell you is Joe Gibbs. Kyle Busch, Matt Kenseth, they're my two picks for the Texas 500. Friday night, Texas Motor Speedway, Mike Mullen for MikeMullen.net.